guys, I am so excited because my super good friend and previous bride, Lexi, is here to talk with us about why she eloped, what the process was like, and just probably a lot of gossip between she and I. Um, We met a long time ago over the Instagrams. Um, I was talking about Bachelor, Bachelorette, or Bachelor in Paradise, like something, and we just like started gossiping. And then when I, like, I will never forget, Lexi, when you like started talking about Bachelor, like we just started chatting, like we just kind of friends Mm -hmm. for forever. (laughs) And just like, and then it was like months, months later, I don't even know how many months, and you were like, you know, thinking about eloping, like, let's talk about it. And I'm just like, oh, this is awesome. Like, <laughs> we can just gossip about, ba- about Bachelor in Paradise the whole time. So thank you for coming to the show, The Climb with Kelsey. Thank you. <laughs> it's a show. I need t-shirts. Climb with Kelsey. Yes. <laughs> so thank you. Yeah. So talk to me a little bit, um, just so we don't talk about Bachelor the whole time. We were talking yeah. quite a bit about it before we got done. So maybe it'll like, <laughs> we've cleaned the slate. Talk to me about like your own adventure elopement in Spain. What did it look like? What were some of your favorite parts? Like, tell me all about it. Well, part of it, a big part of it was trying to decide which spot in Spain to do it because it's so beautiful all over the country. And I really wanted somewhere that wasn't just like, it could be a beach anywhere. I wanted it to be like a very kind of exotic kind of um, photo shoot and elopement place and um I I mean I looked at a bunch of other places but I just kept I kept coming back to it so Costa Brava I was like this is the place I mean after you know been there and like documenting your day I'm just like I can see why that place is amazing I have never seen another place like that right like it's not you're just like flat horizon line sandy beach Mm -hmm. and that I could totally see where like that was super special with the cliffs and everything. I think because I'm a mountain girl at heart, yeah. so I had to have some kind of cliffy mountain rock action. Had to like, had some climbing in there a little bit. <laughs> mm-hmm. well, and you like, it wasn't just like the day for you guys. Like how many weeks were you guys on vacation in Europe? Um, we were, we were in Europe for two weeks. Amazing. And that, and was, that was like, like a big part of our decision to elope was that we wanted a really long fun vacation instead of having this big wedding where it was over in a day and you know we have this one day to look back on now we have this whole two week vacation honeymoon to look back on I just thought that was such a great way to go I mean and like most and like just correct me if I'm wrong was most of the vacation time before the elopement day or was it kind of split Mm -hmm. in half the elopement was towards the end so I think it was on the the fifth or the sixth and then we didn't leave until the 13th so yeah we got home on the 13th okay so just so cool I don't know that you were able to just like yeah. stack it how it like just stack it however you mm-hmm. wanted it to right like I think that's the number one thing I'm always like like bulldogging for people it's like it can be whatever you want literally yeah whatever you want <laughs> like so if you want to like get married early and have the honeymoon after great if you want to honeymoon for like a week and a half before your elopement day whatever you want I just yeah. I just thought it was really cool like the format that you guys did it because it looked so fun I think it's hard for some people to wrap their heads around like um Nate's mom for example like I don't understand you know yeah what was that like 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 how I guess like what was it like to tell her how did she take it like how did how did that all go I feel like for a lot of family members, some of it was, you know, we just want to support you and do help you do whatever you want to do versus the well, tradition. And yeah. some people were more caught up, like my dad was more caught up in um, like the t- traditional aspects where even if, if we had had a normal wedding, I didn't want to do those traditional things anyway. Yeah. Like so, the yeah. like okay toss stuff, the garter toss yeah. stuff, like all that stuff ew, feels yeah. like so you yeah. yeah, just like well, and I, I really wanted, if we were to have a normal wedding, I was like, I'm walking myself down the aisle. I don't need to be, I'm not anybody's to like give. Or, yes. You know. Yeah. That's, I mean, talk about like a super antiquated, I mean, the like tradition of that comes, you know, like medieval times, right. When like the mm-hmm. father owned his daughter and it was kind of like an asset to the family. And so he mm-hmm. was like giving an asset to another family 
And like, Mm -hmm. she had no choice in that, right? It's back when like everyone was arranged and the men figured that out, not the couple, right? Like the Mm -hmm. two men of the family, mostly the fathers did that. So yeah, I mean, I digress. Sorry. That's like, but like, you know, that like, we've already been living together for two years. um, And we just like, we also, we felt like we were already married from like the moment we met. Like we just, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you just didn't need this whole, like, you know, f- big day of 180 people to validate <laughs> the feelings that were already going on with you guys. It feels like a show. And I didn't, every time I go to a wedding, like there's parts of it, I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's really cute. And then there's other parts where I'm like, but why? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, but why? Yeah. Like there's so many, but why moments for me. I'm just like, why all the mm-hmm. parading around? Like, yeah oh like these are my best friends and like I like all of you guys too but like these ones are my favorite that are up here with me and, and like, we're gonna I put them... do that to anybody yes. or deal with the drama and yeah it was just so much stress I mean I think that's one mm-hmm. thing that I hear from my people a bunch is it like they even were considering a normal you know I'm, I'm gonna stop saying the word normal I'm gonna say traditional so <laughs> traditional traditional I want adventure elements to be the new normal yeah um Mm -hmm. so like they consider traditional weddings before they even thought that adventure elements are a thing and they started planning it and they're just like this is the most stressful thing I have ever yeah like thank you next like they're just like nah yeah Um, never mind yeah and I could totally I mean so for me it just seems like the most stress is with like the guest list and like the guests mm-hmm. and who you invite is like the most like difficult part. Like, mm-hmm. so what was like when you were planning your adventure alone and making that decision, like what were some of the difficult decisions to make? Like what, what made it difficult to choose an adventure um, for you? Well, I remember like I, I had an idea that I didn't really want a traditional wedding in the first place. And I was like, well, what if I do this in Glacier Park? And I, and I want like 40 people. And even just trying to figure out something that seems small or what would be considered a small wedding is still a lot of planning and a lot of stress. And then there's everyone's opinions on, well, why isn't it this way? Or you should do this. And um, my family is pretty big, whereas um, Nate's isn't quite as large. And so then it's uh, people's feelings get hurt for not getting invited and, yeah. um, the older, you know, there's, there's the older generation. So if it's in a national park, is it going to be accessible for older people? And yeah. It, yeah. Yes. I was like, never, never mind. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. I mean, I feel like just like the bombardments of opinions alone, mm-hmm. I mean, like it's, all it's that my other... wedding, who cares what everyone else thinks and why, is it, why do I have to invite this person? You know? Yes. So then if you just do it, the two of you, there's, nobody got invited (laughs) nobody got invited so like nobody's gonna get hurt over someone else not Mm -hmm. getting invited right it's like if you're gonna be upset then you know like I don't know it's so I just wish that people spent more time like supporting the couple and the reason why Mm -hmm. they're having this union instead of like this party that they all feel entitled that they need to it's very expensive and yeah 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 and you could just spend like two weeks in in Europe instead yeah like adventure instead (laughs) location aside what were some of the elements that made it easy for you to choose an adventure elopement um I mean I think it was the adventure that's what we wanted we didn't want to I mean we were really busy we didn't but we didn't want to go somewhere and just sit on the beach either so we wanted something that was kind of a mix of both um because of the Time. it wasn't great for a beach but yeah um, we it was cold it, it was a little chilly, chilly. <laughs> yeah but I mean and it was just it was easy to say like this is about us it's not about everyone else and what our family wants like we just want to be with each other and we're already married so why do we yeah. have to have a, a wedding when yeah. we're already married <laughs> well and that was a whole other thing right it's like it wasn't this just like go to the courthouse courthouse over lunch break thing right it was like you made a really intentional you know like yeah. I mean, like the whole courthouse thing like it you know it's going to be boring and bureaucratic because you know like that's what it is but you were able to celebrate mm-hmm. that in addition to doing yeah. your adventure a little bit overseas like that I thought was so cool and I think a lot of people especially like 
international couples always, always forget is like, you can just like do the easy part of like, you know, tax purposes, legally getting married in the U S and then mm-hmm. adventure the fuck out of life. <laughs> you, know, well, like, you can have, you can have all the celebrations you want. Yes. Yes. Like cake for yeah. everyone, champagne for everyone, like every group of, of fam. Like, so what I've always thought would just be like dream would be like, you get married, the two of you in like a beautiful place, you know, really intentional. And then you have like mini parties with every group of family. Like, I think like, what, what would that be? It'd be like a conga line of like receptions. Right. But just like yeah. mini parties that they throw for you. Right. You just like yeah, go and celebrate. You. And it's like super t- I mean, it's, it's not like a big wedding thing. It'd be like mm-hmm. an evening you know, hanging out and having good food. Yes, like celebrating the couple instead of it being like, well, why aren't you throwing something for us to celebrate, you know? Yes, yes. And like, at least, I mean, my family specifically on both sides, like Jake's side and my side, they were dying mm-hmm. to do something for us because they're so stoked. Uh, yeah, that's so sweet. You know? Yeah, and it's like, if they, I mean, just, and on a small scale, you know, it's super doable. And like, honestly, I don't know about you, but like, at least for me, I bond the best with like smaller groups. This whole like um, large group thing is like, so not intentional feeling well, these expectations about like what a wedding should and uh-huh. should be and yeah. that and doing like a father and daughter dance and doing this. And I'm just like, leave me alone. <laughs> oh, I mean, so for me, like with, I mean, with that sort of thing. So I had, so Jake and I had like a 40 person ceremony day in glacier Mm -hmm. and then the next day was like an 80 person reception in the family cherry orchard which like it was a lot like I mean I was stressed planning it I mean it was beautiful right like it it was perfect and everyone who I wanted to be there was there and all this sort of thing it was the the traditions that were so so I lost my dad uh I think it was like 10 years ago at that point and so okay. like just the thought of like father daughter dance i mean that stressed me out from the minute he proposed like that Aww. you know and so yeah. then well and then it was like well i want jake to be able to have something with his mom just because i can't doesn't mean he right. shouldn't. and it was i mean it was just the whole thing right like i have a friend um, one of my really good friends kelsey um, she's actually getting married in April, but I always think of her. Like I go to a wedding and I see a father daughter dance and I think of her because she lost her dad when we were in like seventh grade. Oh, and I still like, I'm sorry, and then like, I don't have that great of a relationship with my dad. So it just like, it, it didn't feel like something I would want to do. Totally. Yeah. Just be like uncomfortable with, and even me and Nate, just the two of us having to like dance together in front of people were like, no, thanks. I mean, you guys have the best dance moves I've ever seen. So oh, let's no. just like clarify that. Like, it's just a part of like, <laughs> once you, we get you away from all the people, <laughs> you're yeah. fantastic girlfriend, <laughs> but it's yeah. one thing if it's just us, but yeah, having and sure. like an awkward slow dance and it's like, well, okay, how long is it? Are we going to cut it? Are you going to just watch us awkwardly dance for three and a half full minutes, yep. which doesn't and that's sound just that long, but in the moment it does feel very long. It's so long. Yeah. It's so long. I mean, and that's just one like expectation. Just one of the things. Yeah. One thing. One thing. Yeah. I mean, so I plan a lot of these two and I end up having like moms and daughters are planning it and they end up reaching mm-hmm. out to me because it's like ruining their relationship. I've literally oh had like, and I'm just like, yes, I get it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like you can't even plan a wedding without it. Like you wanting to kill each other at the end. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, cause then, and then you have where people are like, well, if you have a real wedding, you know, we'll help you pay for it. But then it becomes along with like strings attached. Like, well, we helped you pay. So you should do this or you should invite this person. And it's we awful. were not about the strings. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. I mean, just that there's even conditions set mm-hmm. on a unity like this. I've got issue. I got big mm-hmm. issue with that. Just that like your like approval is based on those conditions and support mm-hmm. is based on those conditions. Yeah. No, big issue. Big issue with yeah, that. Yeah, like if you want to help pay, then just you know, help pay, but that doesn't it's not how it works with most people. Yes, agreed. Yeah, I've seen that happen too, which is 
super fucking sad. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Well, that was, I don't know. I just, I loved how you guys did it. So, I mean, again, thank you so much for coming on because I just like, I just thought it was the best way to do it. And just talking through like how you made those decisions, I think are going to be really helpful for people. Cause we, you know, anybody thinking about an adventure low, but has to go through these like emotional mental processes to like mm-hmm. make it fun. Um, as like rough 10 as out 10, 10 out of 10, I recommend eloping. Um, I think like a big thing for me too, was having the pictures in the dress and you get that and then you get it somewhere gorgeous, which is, which is, yeah. I mean everything. like the whole point. Okay. So I know I didn't I mean, and have the husband. I mean, like you, you do need one of those. Like we might yeah. need that before we get it. The, the perfect trifecta, <laughs> the husband, the <laughs> pictures with the, the dress. And the dress. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so like one of those, it takes years to develop. And one of mm-hmm. those, it takes much less time. <laughs> so yeah. you're already good to go. I know like, I'm going to spring this on you. Mm. Five things that you would recommend for like anyone eloping or three things maybe three things um besides the trifecta I mean I re- I recommend just doing whatever you want if you want to do it in Iceland with just the two of you then do that and don't worry about like what other people are thinking I like to I like to think of you know when we're older we get to say to our you know our grandkids or whoever we went to Spain just the two of us oh that's cool and yeah um, I really wanted the video. Um, so I also really recommend getting video. So when you're old, you can watch the video and like, look how hot we were and how in love we were and look how beautiful Spain is. And I recommend Kelsey as your elopement oh. photographer. <laughs> well, that's sweet of you. Now I feel all awkward and blushy and I'm going to like go in a corner and like <laughs> hide somewhere. Yeah. I mean, I think too, with the video, like you guys had I couldn't actually hear your vows because I was like, you know, far enough away to like give you guys space to do mm-hmm. that. But I could just tell like Nate, like his body language, like you could just tell whatever like you were saying to him was like hidden, right? Like he yeah. felt a certain sort of way. And I just think that like having your, like your vows in the video, it's cause like, I don't know about you, but when I got married, it was like, there was a bear walking through the ceremony. There was a helicopter. Like I didn't hear any of that. So do you think for one second that after the, like, you went out, kiss the bride, mwah, you walked down the aisle. I remember any of that. Right. I don't remember a single word of what that man said to me until I saw I the video. I writing your vows down and we actually yes. have these cute little books and they're on our mantle right now. So I could go and Aww. walk over and read them if I want to, or we can add to them, which is nice. And, oh, I love um, that adding idea. Yeah. Oh and my then, God. Yeah. So having a video will be nice. So, cause like one day he'll have an old man voice and yes. then I can hear it and he's yeah. not the old man voice. And you'll be like, or, hey, when he's denying the old man voice, OMV, yeah. the thing that I, I like to call it, that's on the t-shirt OMV when he has it and he's denying it, you can be like, no, sir, look at this video hear your young man voice (laughs) ymv okay comparison (laughs) let's just do a side by side just really quick real quick (laughs) Uh, i remember this (laughs) for the rest of my life so funny okay really quick because i am like so intrigued about adding how you're going to add to your vow books like are you guys going to do that every year like tell me your Um, ideas about that because i think that is brilliant well, so we have these books and there's a lot of pages that yeah. we didn't fill yet. And hopefully there's a lot of years that we do have to add to it. I don't know if it'll be, you know, okay, it's our anniversary, let's add to it. In my in my head, I was thinking that I would kind of randomly add to it. So then he okay. could be randomly surprised when he decides to read them again. I like but that. But I didn't really, I didn't put really too much into it. Well, my dear, I will let you go. Thank you again so much. Thank and you. And I will um, chat with you later. Okay.